YouTube, it's Miranda, and today I want to take you guys on this little journey of fixing my kitchen table. We've had this table for a while now. It's part of a set. We have like a little corner booth situation. It's super cute and cozy. We don't have a dining room, so it fits perfectly in our house. So I want to fix this up so we can keep using it. I'm no professional at like fixing up furniture by any means, so this has been like a learning process. But I painted this with the Rust-Oleum chalk paint, the spray paint, and um, I used Serenity Blue. I love the color. But it's gotten some chipping over time and the paint's kind of scratched off. So I want to sand it down and make it more durable. So I just have some sandpaper. This is just from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to rough up the edges especially so that the paint can grip to it better this time. I thought this one was stronger. That's what I want. have another battery. Yeah. Okay guys, so here's what we did. We kind of roughed up the natural wood so that it has a better surface for the paint to grip to and then try to blend the edges of the paint and now we're going to take the serenity blue paint and kind of touch up where everything got chipped off and see how it goes So there we have it. It looks so pretty already. So now we're just going to let that dry for a little bit. And then the next thing I want to do is actually I want to seal this this time. So I just have this Krylon Color Max Clear Indoor Outdoor and it says um, that it's an acrylic crystal clear finish and it provides... Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. It's an acrylic crystal clear finish that provides a protective non-yellowing finish. Use on indoor and outdoor wood. So I'm going to try this to see if this will make it last longer and help the paint not chip again. And also probably will make it a little easier to clean, like to spray like a cleaning product on and wipe down because sometimes this is a little too matte. It doesn't really like come that clean. Okay, so it's been about an hour. It's mostly dry. There's just one spot that I can see um, right here that's a little wet still. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the clear coat because we're about to leave the house and we'll be gone until like after dinner time. So I want to give it time to dry so we can get our table back inside. So basically I'm just going to give it a layer of this and see how it looks and then we'll go from there. So a layer of clear coat, I'm just gonna let that dry while we're gone and then later on I'll check back in to let you guys know how the finished product turned out. If I feel like it's more um, durable, I won't really know for sure until we use it over time, but I'll know if it's easier to like wipe down and stuff, so. All right guys, so it's later on. We just got home and we brought the table inside and it looks really good, let me show you. It looks better already just like this, but I'm gonna bring you in closer to see the edges. No chipping. There's just a couple thin spots like this side here. This was probably the other side where I usually sit. We probably have it flipped around the other way. But these spots right here are a little thin. Probably could have used another coat of paint. But um, And then there's one spot here that it looks like a dark spot. I think it's just because I didn't coat that one spot very well. That, that was one of the ones that was like, that spot was kind of chipped. Overall, not sad about it at all. I think it came out really good. And Jordan just made a good point too. He's like, if this is something you only have to do every couple of years to like refresh the table, then I don't think that's too bad, you know? So easy little spruce up. I don't want to spray any like cleaners on it yet because I don't know if this needs to like sit a little longer to fully dry. I don't know how that, I don't know. Some paints say like, don't, you know, like, like don't do anything to them for 24 hours or something. But I will say that the coating makes it feel a lot like better quality almost i don't know i just feel like before it was gonna chip so easily and this feels like it's on here a lot better between the sanding and the protective coat so i'm super happy with how it looks and feels so i'm gonna go with that if you have any questions on how this holds up or cleans or anything like that just let me know in the comments and i'll answer you there because i'm gonna end this video here so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye